everybody. Uh, I've become aware that actually, even though we thought it was for members of Mount, lots of other people have been watching uh, this video, which is great. We're just really glad that you've done that. But a few people have got in touch and they're not sure where they stand with God. So I thought I'll just clear that most important issue. It's really important that everyone knows at this time that they're right with God, that they have peace with God, that he helps them, that they can know that if they do die, that they will go to heaven. And what I want to make really clear is the Bible says this is not difficult. It really is not difficult, it says in Deuteronomy. And it doesn't matter who you are. There is no difference, it says in Romans a couple of times. There really is no difference. It doesn't matter whether you're a priest or whether you're a nurse or whether you're in prison or whether you've lived a life full of regret. There is no difference. Everyone can know God and it is not difficult. So why doesn't everybody know God? Well, the Bible is clear. The problem is not at God's end. God isn't deaf that he can't hear you and he's not powerless that he can't reach out and change you and meet you but the problem is is that we haven't lived the life we should have and this is the bit that people struggle with the bible teaches us that we are made to love god with all our hearts and all our minds and all our souls but we love ourselves we don't trust him we trust our own decisions we trust idols we look to things to help us, and we've seen how easily they're ripped apart in the last couple of, uh, well, a couple of weeks. We don't call on his name and ask him. We actually ask everybody for help before we think of asking God. And we're meant to love our neighbours ourselves, but we don't do that either. We become angry with them. We think that they've got things that we should have. We struggle sometimes with always telling the truth none of us are perfect and the bible says that is the reason we don't know god god is perfect and to put it bluntly we're not and we have a tendency to cover that up but the reason you can know god the reason it is not difficult is because it doesn't rely on you god sent Jesus into this world who is God and he did love God with all his heart and all his mind and all his soul all his life and he did love his neighbor as himself he never did anything wrong however at the end of his life he died as if he'd done everything wrong he took all that we have done wrong and he suffered on the cross for our sins that is what Easter is all about. And on the third day, God raised him from the dead to show that everybody could be justified. Everybody could be put right if they put their trust in him. Another passage in the Bible puts it like this. You can't reach up into heaven to find God. But Jesus has come down from heaven to find you. And you can't go into your past, the abyss, and dig out all the wrong things you've done. But Jesus took all the wrong things you and me have done. And he suffered for them on the cross. And he buried them there once and for all. And all we have to do is not listen to our own hearts anymore. But to say that I trust that Jesus has died and re been raised again to give me life. Instead of thinking I can get there, it's saying Jesus has got there for me. And he has taken all that is wrong and risen again. I can say in my, believe in my heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead. And then say when Jesus is in charge. Jesus is the Lord the Bible speaks of. Jesus is the one that I can trust to get me home. Jesus is the one who can bring me to God. So what do I do? Will you call on him? That's what the Bible says. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord will not be put to shame. So it doesn't matter what you've said or what you've done or what you've thought. He took the punishment for that on the cross. 
What matters is you call on him and he will take your shame away. You call on him and say, save me. You call on him and say, rescue me. You call on him and say, help me. You talk to him. That's simply what it means. You see, it's not difficult, is it? The word is on your mouth, the Bible says. Literally on the tip of your tongue. You can do it right now in your room while you're sitting there. You can literally say, Jesus, save me. Jesus, help me. And all the shame of all the things we've ever done wrong that block us and God will be taken away by Jesus. You see, Christianity is really about receiving. It is not about you doing. And the rest of your Christian life is simply found on then receiving what Christ has done for you. Listening to his word. Listening to what he has done. Going to church and being part of his people and receiving his good gifts. Baptism shows you exactly what it means to be a Christian. You just stand there and say, yes, I have accepted Jesus as my Lord and Saviour. And then you die with him and you are raised with him and he puts his, God puts his name on you. How easy is it to become a Christian? Well, there's a story in the Bible of a very wicked man who was crucified next to Jesus Christ. And as he's hanging there and everybody knows what he's done and he's naked and exposed and he is about to meet God, he looks at Jesus who is suffering for his sin and he simply says, remember me. Say, so, well, what about all the things he's done wrong? Jesus is taking his place on the cross. All he says is remember me. And Jesus said, today you will be with me in paradise. If you're sitting there in your room thinking, I'm desperate to be right with God. I must do something. I must change. I must be different. Put that all to one side and realise Jesus has done it all. He died for your sins. He rose for your justification to put you right. Totally right. That's what it means. So you don't have to put yourself right. Call on him. Ask him to help you. We would love to help you in any way we can. If you want to email the church, we can get in touch with you. Or oh, there are lots of churches that preach this gospel. You can get in touch with them if you're not watching from uh, Swansea or Neath. But please, get right with God. Get right with God in life. Get right with God in get death. Get right with God in eternity. We'll speak to you tomorrow. Be lovely to know that there are some people who have called on Jesus before we talk tomorrow. I love you. Jesus loves you. Jesus died for you. Jesus rose again for you. May his help and his peace be with you at this time. Amen.